Hi again, welcome back to the channel. My name is our lad for Set Play Gaming, and this is the FC24 Colchester United Road to Glory Career Mode with Owen Coyle, episode 21, season 2. And we're just going to run through some objectives from last season that we cut out from the last video just to skim over. Uh, we managed to keep the wages and salary in check by 5%. Uh, increase and so they were happy with that the board and we finished with a confidence rating manager popularity rating of 89 which is quite high didn't do so well in the cups uh, but you can see there the main objectives were completed by Owen Coyle mainly the critical objective of the youth academy which was signing three players into the youth academy to the defensive position as well as sign Three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players in the current squad. We also managed to um, finish mid-table. Um, we achieved that. As I said, we didn't do so well in the Cups. Um, I do think that this career mode probably be, will be the most realistic in terms of the ones I've done. So I might end up thinking about dropping the Road to Glory title a little bit let me know what you think because like i said it seems to be more a realistic career mode rather than a, a road to glory where i get to the premier league in like four seasons um as you can see there from the message on the screen they are delighted with the progress that owen coyle has made at colchester united we're going to jump in now to pre-season as we have some games to play before we begin the pre-season games just want to catch up on the transfers and changes to the team we agreed to sign Shane McLaughlin from Newport County in exchange for Piero Greco, the academy right back. So this Irish right wing back who can also play central midfield comes into the side. He naturally replaces Mauro Bandera who went back to Arsenal. And um, while he's not going to be somebody that's going to challenge Egbo, I think he's a very solid, reliable right wing back. And as I say, he's at the age where... Um, he isn't going to be um, somebody that I think grows exponentially, uh, but you can see there's some growth left in him. And like I said, he's a dependable right wing back, right back for that position. So it's a welcome addition to the squad. We also lost Goodman um, because he went back to Crystal Palace. And we've brought in Ben Amos, who is released by Wigan Athletic of all teams. Uh, he's 34 years of age, but this experience that we've got coming in it fits around the um, overall ratings of our current first team players and keep in mind that as he starts to get older he more than likely will decline so this is only a temporary measure I would expect but it's a good signing all the same. This is what we look like going into the start of the season. As I said we have three games in pre-season to get out of the way first. I've planned to do 4-2-3-1 as I mentioned. Egbo on the right, Yandolo on the left, Hall and Zarenc the academy centre back with Amos in goal, McGeehan and Minge, and then Edwards, Chilvers, Jay, and Tovine up front. We're going to be playing Bradford, Kilmarnock and Livingston. Let's see how we get on. All right, our opening game is against Bradford City. And um, you see the opening uh, exchanges of action here. Wilson into Cook. And Cook is always going to be a danger, but a good interception there by Zarinch as he steps in and makes the interception. A chance for us to get forward. But it's intercepted there on the left side. Just six minutes in. And Bradford come back again. Or door. He's going to come up. This is a few minutes later. Wilson looking to play in a pass. In comes Jay Mingy getting himself back to do some defensive work. That is something that we like to see from Jay Mingy. Of course, the issue last year was offense. Zarench with a crossfield pass to Edwards out on the left side. This is 27 minutes in. Reed into Tovide, Tovide into Chilvers, Mingi spins away from his man brilliantly inside to Tovide and then he just goes to dink inside and, and take the shot on his left but he's intercepted, a bit unlucky there, through ball and now suddenly Hall getting back, Cook, Richards trying to get himself in, great interception by Reed. it's one back, Cook with a chance, in comes the defender, Hall, and wins the ball. He does well, and we hold up. Chance for us to break here on this side. Mingi with a lovely piece of skill and gets past two, three men. And then he gets a ball taken off him. And just about 
you can tell every now and then there's a couple of touches from him that he looks better McLaughlin beaten there by the attacker but Zarage gets back and covers well for his man it was Patterson causing us problems down the right there down the left I should say Bradford's left into the second half it's still nil nil and actually this is good for us Mingi with the aggression there to win the ball spins into midfield Tolvide onto Childers Childers looking for support McLaughlin down the right we want him to be a bit marauding down that right side Childers now on this right crosses it but it's intercepted by the defender 60 minutes in here is Wilson chance to see if he can play inside but Zarens again it just comes across and that's a great pass to Jay Matt Jay down this right hand side He's going to try and hold on to it. Cuts inside. Uses his agility well. Inside to Childers. Childers rides the challenge. But then he gets bumped off the ball. Almost forced our way in. This is always going to be a close game. And uh, Tolvide here. Bumped off the ball. It's played to Patterson. He's trying to break. Into Wilson. In slides. Reedy. Great tackle from Reedy. Childers into the box. Looking for the pullback. But it's intercepted. And blasted away this has been a tight game it's going to come down to who wants it the most in pre-season great control from Mingi into Tolvide into Childers wrong foot to defender thank you very much he says and uh, even though Tolvide played that pass into Childers I do think Mingi's first touch and pass and awareness inside was one of the key factors to scoring that goal um, I'm going to give him that I think it's only fair. Um, the plan here, as I've mentioned, both in comments and, of course, in the uh, videos, we're going to be playing this 4-2-3-1 this season. And um, the plan is to have a holding, a specific holding player in central midfield and just basically tell Mingi to get forward. We want to try and unlock Mingi's... Um, I don't know whether we can really call it potential, but... We want to try and unlock his ability, I guess, since he was stifled somewhat last year. Great tackle there by Iandolo to recover from uh, Odor trying to get down the right. And we are now into the final few moments of the game. Thomas with the interception. Edwards here. We can break out. Playing counter-attack now. And Childers through ball to Jay. Can he get on to the end of it? Intercepted by Ash Taylor, who does really well there at the back. Corner swung in, there's the header, it goes over the bar into stoppage time and that will see out the game. It is a 1-0 win, a clean sheet win for us in our opening day uh, game in pre-season. I think there's a lot of positives there um, to take. We looked good defensively and we also looked kind of nice going forward. We'd always like to score a few more goals but Bradford are still higher ranked than us and so to get a win over him it's a big scalp for us and something to build confidence going into this new season our next two games as i said is against kilmarnock and livingston let's see how we get on against them pre-season game two and amos gets his first starting goal veteran goalkeeper and um, should face a barrage of shots here because kilmarnock are obviously the better team Greenidge being preferred at left back today. Uh, we need, do need to give him some experience. And I know that's a bit of a, um, a strange choice, but we actually don't have a covering left back at the moment. Um, Iandolo isn't ready for this game. Uh, so opening few minutes, Chiquinho shot. Tests Amos straight away. That's three minutes in. Um, it's a good save by the new goalkeeper. So, yeah, um, we're in the process of trying to sign a left back. Um, we're just scouting a couple, we'll let you know once we've signed them. Cooper here, a few minutes later, into McGeehan, into the box. Near post shot, pushed away. And uh, Kilmarnock can get the ball clear. As I said, most of the action will be by the Scottish Premier League side, you'd expect. Shields here, down this right-hand side, into McGeehan. This is 18, 17, 18 minutes in. Jay into Hopper. Hopper spins away from his man into the box. Does really well and then picks out the top corner. Tom Hopper, who, to be honest, last season was for a, a forgotten man for the first part of the season. Because we had Taylor in on loan and Torvide was playing up front. But then in the second half of the season, he just came alive and 
he came alive there. You know, the ball was played into him. He had men around him, dribbled into the box and picked out the top corner. So, you know, he sending a message there to Owen Coyle. I know Tovide's your number one man and I know Taylor's not around, so don't forget about me. A shot there in the box, pushed around the post. Hey, Amos saying, hey, I'm still here too. I'm, I'm the new signing and the new goalie. Um, so we've got to hype up the players that we've brought in. Definitely give them some praise. Kilmanic now going to turn the screw a little bit. It's played to Solm. Into Watkins. Out slides Amos. Makes the sliding save and it's cleared away. Not quite half time yet. McGeehan. The chance into Jay. Jay into Hopper. Hopper holds off his man. Spins away but it's robbed. Marshall Miranda. Nice play there just to cover played into shields shields near post shot pushed away should have gone for the far post there we've given a good account of ourselves here against Kilmarnock and now we are into the final five minutes of the first half Kelleher with a poor pass there prevents it to Vassell Vassell and a good save from Amos gets down low it had to be a quick shot there but Kelleher's poor pass. He should have gone near the corner, shouldn't he? But gave Amos some work to do. And that's what we want, really. We want him to be tested. He's going to be tested in League 2. Into stoppage time of the first half. And now Kilmarnock coming forward. They haven't equalised just yet. They've knocked it one more. Can Egbo get the ball? No, he can't. Marshall Miranda loses out after the interception. Played back, Kennedy. Oh, I thought that was going to be 1-1. One, one. He's put it wide. Into the second half and Kilmarnock attacking the other end now. Donnelly into Watkins. Watkins into Vassell. Vassell completely does um, Kelleher there. And anywhere will do for Mandela Egbo. Substitution for them. Daniel Armstrong coming on for Fraser Murray. Corner and it's swung in. There's the header and a good save from Amos. It's whack clear anywhere will do. As you can see, most of the attack now is by Kilmarnock. Great interception there initially. They've still got it though and it's going to be pulled back. Intercepted by Marshall Miranda and then seized upon Kennedy. Kennedy into Watkins. Watkins, great save down low to his right. As I said, Amos is definitely going to get tested. Kelleher into McGee and McGee and into Jay. Jay spins away from his man. Soam brings him down in the uh, middle of the pitch. And the referee, what's he going to do here? He's going to show him the red card for that tackle. And uh, that would swing somewhat in our favour in the sense that with the extra man, we could now play possession football instead of just relying completely on sitting back. And of course... You know, being the game that it is, sometimes they do have an advantage, um, you know, physically, phys physically wise. And a good effort there from Chiquinho again, touched over the bar by Amos. Um, they can really come at you when, when they go down to 10 men. I don't know why they, it's like they've been sped up or something. Uh, Thomas here, Donnell Thomas into Marshall Miranda. Three minutes left. Played through by Marshall Miranda to Ionvian. Lovely vision there by the playmaker. And Ionvian looking for the bottom corner, but it's pushed away. And that is full time. It's a second successive win for us here in pre-season. Another 1-0 win. And Owen Coyle masterclass um, here. And uh, we'll be pleased with that. Like I said, everything's built confidence. The games really don't matter all that much at the beginning of the season. But just something to build on, I guess. On to the next right. one. Third and final game. This is how we line up. A 4-2-3-1 going against Livingston in this game. And uh, you can see Mingi's back in midfield with Reed, With Chilvers in the central attacking midfield position. And the opening few minutes. Kelly wide to Brandon on this right side. Livingston crosses it in. It's cleared away. And then Kelly knocks it down. It's going to be one back. Anderson with a chance. Goes to the bottom corner, beats Amos, but it hits the post and stays out. Livingston again coming forward. They are the stronger side. Edwards wins it, tries to set Reed off. Reed does win it, but then falls over. 
it's played back Holt across to De Lucas and this is a nice setup Holt into Newble Newble onto Pittman and a volley there towards the near post and a good save by Amos Newball gets around Zarinch uses his strength into Anderson great save by Amos Iandolo keeps it in plays it to um, Edwards but it's too far and then the cross comes in and Newball heads it in uh, Kelly's cross it was a bad pass from Iandolo it just had way too much mustard on it and it put the defence under all sorts of pressure. He's not in the right position. Zarinch goes across to meet it. And Hall's not in position to head that clear. Newball with a header downwards beats Amos. And we are 1-0 down to Livingston. And then 17 minutes in. Poor kick by their goalkeeper. Chilvers knocks it on to Mingi. Mingi shot and a good save by the goalkeeper. It was actually uh, Tolvide's flick on from Chilvers' chip. Um, and Tolvide flicked it on to Mingi. From the corner, it's swung in, headed down. Mingi goes for a blast here. Blocked. He comes out to Hall. Hall goes for a blast off the post. That would have been a spectacular goal if Connor Hall had scored that. Anderson to Hall. Hall. Got to try and get in position here and cover the passing lanes. Zarinch marking up. Comes back to their fullback, Montano. And he hits it over the crossbar. 35 minutes in. Not bad. Like I said, these teams are actually substantially better than us. Bradford a little bit, but both Scottish SBL sides are definitely better. Kilmarnock and Livingston. Mingi here. Good run by him. 1-2 Tovide into Chilvers inside the box and picks out the top corner. 37 minutes in, it is one apiece. Noah Chilvers, hopefully this is going to be somewhat of a resurrection season for him. Um, he was decent last year, he was really decent, but I think we're going to be way more attacking minded. So that will suit both Mingi and Chilvers. That is a superb finish by him. Lots of technique on that. Kelly here providing problems for us. Not a good pass by the captain, Hall there. Played inside Pittman, looking to play it in. New ball on the turn into Pittman. Um, Kelly, I think it was, sorry, with the shot. And a save near post by Amos. Knocked down. Mingi here takes it past his man into Chilvers. Chilvers gets it back. Mingi accelerates into the attacking zone. And now he's going to try and play this in, but Obele comes out and blocks his lane. He plays it wide, McLaughlin with the cross, near post, Tovide header, and a good save by George. Almost caught the goalie out there. Into the second half, Chilvers into Mingi, Mingi back to Reed, Reed into Tovide. Lovely skill, steps past the defender, looks to the top corner, but just a bit too much on it. He kind of scooped the shot, didn't he? Needed to blast that, really. Childers into McLaughlin, looking wide on this overlap, into Ionvian, Mingi into Thomas, great chance and a good save by George. Nice vision again from uh, Mingi to play the pass in. And the celebrate, and I wouldn't celebrate just yet, there's the header, and Ionvian climbs high at the near post and heads it in, it's 2-1. What a start for pre-season for Bradley Ionvian. On his way back from the loan spell last year. And he scored here. Initially I thought Yandolo headed that across. But it was actually their defender. Uh, De Luca. And then I, look at that climb by Ionvian. He deserves the goal just for showing the commitment to get there. And I wanted to include this little piece of skill here. Mingi holds off Kelly. Turns away and then cuts inside and then plays it between them. Lovely bit of skill there from Mingi after being under pressure to get out of defence. Uh, Chilvers, wide to Iandolo. And then a few minutes left, played in. Ionvian holds it up. Thomas here with a nice little, I don't know whether it's a drag back or a delay. It comes back to him and then nice little uh, effort there with the inside of his foot. Hits the uh, post. And then we're going to put even more pressure on them. Reed um, plays this into Ionvian on his favourite left. Bang it off the post, off the crossbar. We've hit the frame of the goal twice there in the final few minutes. 
We've really put them under pressure and we've uh, won all three preseason games. Two of them are clean sheets. And um, you have to say, going into the start of this season, based on those performances, everything looks um, odds on favourite for us to keep with the 4 2 3 1 for now, unless we start getting bad results. Let's see how we get on though. And that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching the episode. I did go a little bit over the time from what I usually do. I do apologise for that. There's a lot to fit in today's episode. When we come back, we've got the start of Season 2. We face Swindon, Stevenage and Grimsby in the Cup. I do hope you'll join me for that episode in a couple of days. And um, if you want to continue to support me, watch something from the playlist available at the end of this video. This is our lad for Set Play Gaming. See you guys real soon.